into your singles September 2021 love reading. So, Leo, this is going to be for those of you that are completely, completely single. Not even talking to anyone else, all right? Um, just kind of want to find out who your next person's going to be, should you choose to deal with them. All right, y'all, here we go. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Seven of Cups, the Hangman, the Tower, what, Leo? Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, Leo. So this next person is coming in in this Seven of Cups energy here. So they're going to be somebody that has a lot of options. <laughs> All right, a lot of options. They're kind of like somebody who's like really into fantasizing, you know what I mean? So it's somebody who like probably fantasizes about you a lot. Um, but they're kind of all over the place. They're like a confusing kind of a person, right? Let's see here. What can we get on the Seven of Cups? It's Scorpio energy, by the way. What is the Seven of Cups? So it's, it could be somebody that's been like kind of secretly fantasizing about you for quite some time. And the Page of Cups. So they are going to be the one to initiate the whole communication between the two of you. If you don't already know them, you could very well already know them and they've just keeping, they're just keeping these fantasies that they have to themselves. Um, anyway, this is that actual offer here and more water energy. So could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Um, this is that nice little flirty message. Let's get another one. Oh, judgment. Oh boy, Leo. This could be somebody that you've already dealt with. This can be like a reconciliation, reevaluation type of energy, and the Page of Cups can be an apology. Um, or it could be somebody that you maybe just never looked at like that, and now they come and talk about how they've been you know into you and fantasizing about you and blah 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 and you're like what what do you mean I had no idea <laughs> so it's like looking at something a different way and then we also have the hanged man here so will the attraction be instant no um that's what I mean I think this is somebody that you already know and this is something that kind of takes time to develop. And like I said, with judgment, it might be somebody that just started looking at you at a diff in a different way, or you just started looking at them in a different way. You know what I mean? Like it never occurred to you that they might be like into you like that, or maybe that's how they felt about you, but it turns out they are. <laughs> All right. Um, what will they be like? Well, we have the tower. Mars energy, Aries and Scorpio. So this is what I mean. They're going to come in all un unexpected. Like what the fuck? Like I had no idea. I had no idea you felt this way. If they're going to come in like real out the blue, they're really going to take you by surprise. And the four of swords. So, hmm. So there's somebody who has been through some heartbreak, been through some shit as far as their love life and now they're just kind of like healing from it and again if this is somebody that you've already dealt with they're healing from whatever went wrong between the two of you and could be ready to apologize if they need to apologize or at the very least express how they feel oh yeah three of swords libra so they're definitely like they're going through some hurt here whether it's they just got out of another relationship or you do know them and there was like some hurt between the two of you that's really interesting okay here challenges the nine of wands this is about persevering and persisting and not giving up when things are difficult so as a challenge um it, it's just about not giving up whether it's this person or just love in general you know one of you might be kind of at the end of your rope like fuck love 
fuck men, fuck women, I don't care, I'm done. Like, you know what I mean? You might be almost at that place. So that's about just persevering and, and understanding that not everybody's gonna suck, basically. What can you do to help that your challenge here? The Page of Wands, this is about being passionate, going after what you want, not being afraid of it. Just, you know, if you think somebody's fucking hot, then just tell them. Simple as that. Like, we can go wrong. They can be like, okay, thanks, bye. Oh, well, no big deal, right? All right, let's get you another one here. Oh, shit, on my lap. And it's the sun. Um, yeah, this is about clarity. So this is the happiest card in the deck, right? How can you help not feeling so down when it comes to love and whatever it is that you're struggling with here? Um, focus on what is good. Understand that like you can get to this happy place. You can. You just have to go for it. It's, it's kind of about not really thinking too far ahead. It's just going with what you feel. Like this is about like attraction and passion and sex and you know, all that good shit. So it's about just going after your happiness here. All right, what, when, where, how will you meet? You've got the nine of cups. This is Pisces energy. Um, so it's also wish fulfillment, guys. So whenever you set your intention, like this is what I want, this is what I want out of a person, this is what I'm not gonna accept, like literally sit down and make yourself a list. Um, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with scripting, look that up, I highly recommend, recommend that. I actually did this um, with my current relationship. It's, it's been going on for a couple years. But anyway, when I first became single and I was in this 10 year shit relationship, I was like, you know what, fuck this. I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna be so specific that I'm not gonna deal with any bullshit. So I literally wrote down every single thing that I wanted in a person without attaching it to a specific person. They just had to have these qualities. I just wasn't gonna settle, right? And and I got that person. Like, I, we don't have any kind of things that like I wouldn't accept in a relationship. So. Make that wish, set your intention, be really specific about it, you know? And understand that it's gonna come to you. You don't have to give up, it will come. Um, and this could also be like nine weeks. I don't think you're going the whole way out to Pisces season. <laughs> so like nine weeks-ish. Let's get another one here. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. You've got three pages here, so you might even have like multiple people into you. Um, probably you do, most people do. <laughs> but anyway, this is also, it's an offer of commitment. So if your wish in a relationship is a full on commitment, make sure that you set that intention. Make sure that, that you're that specific. Like you don't want something that's just a hookup, you don't want somebody that's immature, whatever. If that's indeed what you want, make sure you set that intention, okay? All right, let's get you an advice should you choose to deal with this person. <laughs> the Ace of Wands, go for it, go for it. This is about going after your passions like I've been saying throughout this whole reading. Um, this is a lot of attraction, a lot of sex, a lot of chemistry. All right, it's a whole new beginning. Like you have a new beginning here with this person if you want it. If even if it doesn't last, if it's not permanent, whatever, that's up to you, but it's gonna be enjoyable. All right, <laughs> all right, take care, Leo. Thanks for being here.